right there. You stay out of the croc area. They don't play no games. See, really? Boy! Woo! <laughs> Check this out. We got all these eggs. This is called candling to see if the eggs are good. Imagine getting bit by a neurotoxic snake that also eats your flesh away. That's this kind of Don't even give me a treat. Oh, woo! Cameo, Cameo, his love is soft as mayo. Cameo, Cameo, what you got to say, oh? Oh, wow. Hey, yo? <laughs> Bro, he did not like that rap. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 wait! <laughs> like some Rhode Island Reds in there, man. That's sad. I love my chickens now. Didn't you say you were going to give me some? I can't look. No? Maybe if I have a lot of roosters. I'm going to give you some roosters. Let's go. Give daddy some love. Give daddy some love. Who wants a hump massage? Oh. Oh, no, don't eat the chucks. Last week it was shrimp po' boy. Now you're trying to get a little chicken sandwich. You can't have none of that chicken boy. You can't have none of that chicken boy. Tomato's doing real good. You can see he's getting huge. He's got a big old hump growing. He's getting almost taller than me. And last night it was so cold and rainy that I actually had to make a nice little barn area in the garage. And we're cuddling until 4.30 in the morning until the rain stopped. It was raining like crazy. So I brought him to the garage and made this big bed. And now we're just cuddling each other. And a bunch of aspen shavings. <laughs> Look at those lips, look at those lips. Have you ever seen the inside of a camel's mouth? There's no top row of teeth. That's used to crush cactus. Look at that little, oh, little alien mouth, it's so cute. Oh, all right, time to do the, do the old routine. Go check on the crocodiles and feed some chicken out. We got all kinds of lovely farm animals to feed out to the crocs and uh, <laughs> I love my chickens. Tyler, what do you think of this croc food? <laughs> it's very sad. Don't worry, they live great lives. There's no head on that thing? Well, uh, there's a head on one of these. I... What the heck? Let me see. There's Camillo, a don't look. There's don't look. There's a head on this one. There's a head That's on this scary. one. scary. Ah! All right. Camillo, you best, you best back up, boy. You can't go in here. Choby's going to have you for dinner. Come on in, Tyler. Let's go. Let's, let's go see how Choby's doing. Choby's actually listening to the food call now, so he's more comfortable. It's right. big news. You stay out there, Camillo. You don't want none of this. Data don't play no shit. Now, this is Choby, for any of you guys who don't know. Choby! Oh! Choby is now used to the food call. So, now that he's used to me, comfortable enough to eat from my hand. He ate for the first time from my hands the other day. The second a crocodilian is comfortable with you and eating from your hands, you can start training them. Choby! Come on, big alligator! Woo! Come on, big alligator! Get a chunk! Get a chunk! Get a chunk! Come on! Get over there! Oh! Oh! He done ripped the chook in half. Come on, Choby. Come on, Choby. Come on, big boy. Ooh, look at this. He wasn't even comfortable enough to be around me. Now he's eating from my hands. Come on, Choby. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's some crunch action right there. Come on. Good boy. And now he's so comfortable to eat right in front of me like this, which was not even possible a couple weeks ago. We can get him to come, hold on command, station on command, so you can get an up close experience with a bull gator if you're an adult and you can volunteer. Shobi's a rescue alligator. He was a nuisance gator. When a nuisance gator is caught in Florida, if it's under four feet, it can be relocated. If it's over four feet, it has to be put down or put into a facility, whether that's a zoo or a hunting ranch. And he was destined for a hunting ranch. So that's why he's in this little temporary enclosure until we get a nice lake built. He's swallowing down all that feather and bone and whatnot. So a croc can swallow its food or a gator can swallow its food. They have to bring their head up to the surface. They have a special valve that keeps water from flowing in. We'll go feed the rest of this chicken to the crocs. Come on, keep it moving. Keep it moving to the next croc pen. Come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, yep, 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 yep. Come on, yep, 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 yep. No, no, don't be licking your lips like that. You ain't getting no chicken club sandwich right now. No, get the bucket boy. You ain't going no shrimp. Oh boy, wow. You stay out of the croc area because Miss Toothy and Aries, they don't play no games. That's a big croc at all. Look how nice Aries' teeth look. When we first caught him, all his teeth were brown, falling out, nasty. Now he's got almost all white teeth. Look at that. Miss Toothy, your teeth are looking beautiful. Still can't believe those teeth went in my leg about eight months ago, but hey, life experiences, right? Really? Boy, you settle down. Give me a second. All right, come on. Aries. Aries. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Want some food? Easy, easy, easy. Uh-oh. Hey, Miss Toothy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Ooh, come on, big boy. 
Ooh, come on. Crocodiles have anywhere from 3,000 over 4,000 pounds per square inch pressure in their jaws. That's two and a half times greater force than the great white shark. What about you, Miss Toothy? Easy. Oh, don't even give me a treat. Oh, whoa. Oh, did you hear that? Wait, my little sweet boy. Look at these big, beautiful crocs. Aries, the Nile crocodile hybrid, and Miss Toothy, the pure Cuban crocodile, critically endangered species. And eventually, we'll put her with a pure male so we can breed this amazing animal. Look at that bone crushing pressure. Look at those teeth. You are a beast, Miss Toothy. Come on. Easy, mama. You're looking at my legs a lot today. Come on. Look at the food. Look at the food. Ew, she's being sneaky. Mm -hmm. Come on, Miss Toothy. Easy, easy. Look at the food. Look at the food. Look at the food. Woo! She's being a little sneaky today. So I'm paying attention to her, her eyes at all times to see what she's focusing on. Look at her teeth. Curved back like a velociraptor. She's such a beast of a croc. Come on. Easy, easy. Woo! Good girl. Getting real cold out lately, but now we finally have some good sunlight to feed the crocs and let them digest their food. Crocodiles rely on sunlight to digest their food. So on days like this, it's good to feed, but when it gets too cold, you can't really feed these crocs too much. Come on, get in the water. We need to, we need to go back outside the enclosure. Come on. There you go. Look at this crocodile. He is so beautiful. Yellow, sexy looking crocodile. Uh-oh. Miss Toothy. You want more chicken? Come on. Come on, Miss Toothy. Easy. Whoa! Come on. Come on. Easy. 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 Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. What a beast of a crocodile. And she's got almost like... Like hog's teeth. Like boar teeth. Look at that. Look at Aries. Holy smokes. What an awesome crocodile. Look at you. Oh, the bones, feather, gut content, all super important for a crocodile developing thousands of teeth throughout its lifetime. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Woo. For those of you guys who don't know, this Aries is one of the first ever crocodiles that I got to work with when I was a kid. He was in our alligator wrestling pit on the Native American reservation when I was about 14 years old. So full circle, I got the crocs I used to grow up working around. Look at this right here, Miss Toothy. The Cuban croc, Aries, they have their chicken, they're good. We got one little piece left. They're full, let's go give it to the Siamese croc, Nadia. Come on, ooh, ooh, ooh. hey, 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 crazy, hey, crazy, whoa, come on, woo, come on, you crazy little croc. They're very similar to the saltwater crocodile, and they have the same charisma as the saltwater crocodile as well. And that's good gut content and bone right there. Great for tooth development, where'd you go? She's a sneaky little crocodile. Named her Nadia for a good reason. She's really naughty. All right, we're gonna let her be and go see what's going on in the snake house. Come on, come on, Kameo. Come on, we gotta do some venomous snake cleaning and he's throwing a fit because he wants to hang out with us the whole time. You can't play with cobras, come on. <laughs> do you hear him? <clears throat> come on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just coaxing him, I'm not hurting him. He's throwing a fit like a child. <clears throat> oh, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. I am still halter training him, but when I walk around the property, like the way I'm doing, I just like to let him free around a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, get in there. Good boy, he's a big baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I'll see you in a little bit. It's got a clean thing. I gotta put Mr. Guapo. Ooh, back in his pen. Come on, boy! Guapo. Relax, nice and easy, nice and easy. I just need to need do a little, a uh, little look. Look over here, look over there. Boy, 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 I gotcha. Oh, he's death rolling, he's death rolling. Wait, relax, relax. Woo! That's a sexy looking crocodile. All right, buddy, right back into your pen. Make this nice and boy. easy. Not too bad. Get you locked up. Rolling. Hmm. All right, my beautiful, wonderful, fantastical people, and the most handsome tattooed artist in the room. 
Tyler freaking knowing. Wow. So if I get hurt, he can drive me to the hospital. So that's really good. Let's take care of Pepe. He's a Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. Shed not too long ago. I think he's going to go in the shed again because he's just grown like crazy. And I don't know, lately he's been kind of cranky. So let's not, let's not go too fast. Nice and sweet. That's a feeding response. So if you want some food. But look at him. He's getting big. Yoish. Look at that. That is a beast of a Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. Obviously, not a snake to be taken lightly, but he's not bad. Just gotta make sure I stay out of the heat seeking pits because he can detect a thermal image like my warm blood body. Woo. Let's get him right into there. Nice and easy. While he's hanging out, you guys can look at him while I clean the poop. Because he's got a few, uh, it's not the big deal, just a few uh, uh, spicy meatballs. All right, we got a nice clean enclosure. We can put Pepe back. You can hear he's not too happy right now. Ooh. He's a cranky boy today. That is a beautiful rattlesnake. Mexican West Coast rattlesnake found on the West Coast of Mexico as well as New Mexico. And they are a badass viper. He's not tame. I just understand how to read the body language and get away with this kind of handling. Obviously, never replicate anything you see us do. We've been doing this our whole lives. You gonna get him right into there? Nice and easy. A very spicy meatball this snake is. He's a very spicy one. Pepe, the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. Sexy looking boy. I want to show you something else that's looking really good. Right here on top of the snake holding receptacle, we're going to put these eggs over here. We've still got about 27 monocled cobra eggs good to go. Look at these guys. Let's go make sure we don't tilt them too much. Check this out. We got all these eggs. You see a couple of them are deflated looking, but they are still developing. They should hatch no problem. Look at this. Ooh, this is called candling to see if the eggs are good. So you see all those veins developing. That's a great sign. You can see there's a little baby down there developing. Each egg has veins and a little embryo that's starting to develop. And it's crunch time. We have about a month left before these guys are fully developed and hatching out. So that'll be really cool. I'll hook up a couple of my buddies who have the permits that can keep these covers. The rest of them are gonna be donated to a venom lab for venom research and anti-venin. Anti-venin is the proper term for anti-venom, but anti-venom just makes more sense to everyone because it's venom, anti-venom. Also, everyone's a big Marvel fan, so anti-venom makes sense. Venom, get it? <laughs> are you ready for the newest Spider-Man installment? I can't wait. <laughs> All right, so it's time for one of my favorite snakes in the collection. She's so sweet, we named her Slipknot after the, the very hardcore church band Slipknot. Okay, let's get into it. We got, we got a dirty cage we gotta clean up. She loves to spit venom all over the glass and poop all over the place. The thing about these snakes, the spitters, especially the African spitters, they're like little Picassos. They like to spray poop all over the enclosure. They like the scent mark. So these guys are a pain in the butt to maintain just because how dirty they can be. I'd really like to rehome this snake, and I think I know just the person who would love this snake, and that would be Mr. Stone Liquory. And he gifted me this snake, so we should uh, we should just give it right back. <laughs> you can see that she's really blue right now. She doesn't look super colorful. She's deep in shed, which is usually when a snake is most irritated. But you notice she's not doing anything really crazy. She, oi, all right, right when I said that. Oi, nice and easy, baby, nice and easy. Don't want her to bite me. Their venom is super cytotoxic. Woo! So they actually have more cytotoxic venom, more potent cytotoxic venom than a puff adder. A puff adder can eat your arm away with its venom and cause gangrene and rachia. So imagine getting bit by a neurotoxic snake that also eats your flesh away. That's this cobra. That's why we take this snake woo, very seriously. Come on. There we go. At least no venom this time. That snake is gnarly. I think, uh, I think that's a great housewarming gift for Stone, don't you think, Tyler? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, Stone. Oh, yeah, Stone's gonna love cleaning all this dried venom and this poop. I, I, can't, I can't wait to see Stone making videos doing this. All right, time to put the spitting cobra back. <laughs> I love this. I love these snakes. They're great. Oh, man. Cool snake, but not a big fan of keeping spitters. Come here. Nice and easy. She's not as bad as when I first got her, but I still do not trust this snake. Being a crazy wild African lapid, that could easily put you in a coffin. Looking a real crusty right now because she needs to get through that shed, but she's still a beautiful animal. Deserves love and respect, nice clean home. 
You got fresh water, clean environment, fresh new uh, canvas to poop on and, and paint up. So I'm really happy and looking forward to the next time we have to do that. Lock and take care. Okay. Let's take care of the King Brown, AKA the Pygmy Mole guy. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Ooh, he's a twitchy little snake. Just a dwarf version ooh, ooh, of the true King Brown. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> back up, back up. You crazy little wire. Boy, boy, you crazy boy. So this is a King Brown, but it's a dwarf. Dwarfs only get about four feet long. And a true King Brown can get about eight feet long. They eat other venomous reptiles. They eat monitor lizards. So basically, they're Australia's King Cobra, but they don't have a beautiful big hood. He's in the black snake family. So he does have a nasty venom. And you wouldn't want to take a bite off of him. I have friends who've been bit by them, and it's no joke. Let's get this nice and secure in the snake home receptacle, sponsored by Brew. Not a trash can company, a different company. It's spelled with two E's. Reminds me of Ricky Mack. We're good to go. He's got water. Let's put this little King Brown back and try to do it as safe as possible. These guys used to have the biggest venom yield, but then the coastal taipan, which is the one of the most venomous snakes on the planet and the top five most venomous, coastal taipan broke the record for biggest venom yield, the most venom that they can drop in one bite, which is the same kind of snake that actually bit my buddy Ricky Mac in the outback and nearly killed him. So they're very respectable snakes, and I can't wait to have more Australian snakes in the collection. They're my favorite, not just because it's the deadliest snakes on the planet, but they're Australian. I love everything from Australia. The coolest animals on the planet come from there. Coolest people too. Comment below, g'day mate. Oh, the poor man's giraffe, the camel. I love them. And the video of the good note hanging out with big old Kameo. But you know what? I think Tyler needs a little bit of love right now. It's been kind of a rough <laughs> day finding out some bad news. So here you go. Why don't you take, oh, thanks, why don't you feed Kameo? Show him some love. He's so cute, bro. Isn't he awesome? Yeah, it's hard to have a bad day with him around. Dude, look at those cute rhino lips. He's so Ugh. cute. And he just wants love. Look at him. He just wants to be held close. He just loves it when you just grab him and hug him. Yeah. Look at those sweet big eyes. And why don't you grab that hump and tell me what it feels like in there now. Dude, it's getting humpier. Yeah, he's, he's got a real hump. Oh, he likes it. Hug him, hug him. Give him a hug. He wants a hug. Like hug him. Oh, he loves, the, he loves love. Oh, too much milk. Too much milk. There you go. Uncle Tyler got a little bit on your nostrils, but he's getting better. I love him so much, and he's got the cutest little camel doll. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, stick to what you love in life, because that's all that matters. That's what's going to make you happy. I love you, Kameo. I love you so much. I love my homie Tyler. I love all y'all out there. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for making our dreams come true. We'll see you on the next one. Come on, give me some fang. He's throwing a fit like a child. Oh, come on.